Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, ADA seems to be following the plan right now. Um, it reacted to our support region down there, then also followed our uh, additional support level that um, I gave you in one of the previous videos where we said, okay, as long as it's holding here this 50% FIP level, the continuation to the upside should follow through and we should see the price eventually, if it all goes well, to get into this yellow or white uh, support area or no, not support area, target area. Yeah, with the white um, surround, with the white border in a uh, WXY structure. WXY is a very complex correction I'm tracking here, but so far it's it's following. Um, yeah, this could still turn into a massive triangle or something that's possible as well. But for now, we are watching if it can hold the support levels that I provide to keep going higher to form that E wave of the triangle. For anybody who's new on this channel, we've been tracking this overall move now for, for months, I would say. Uh, we've, we're following currently an Elliott wave triangle overall on the larger time frame. And we are looking here at this area as an or at this as this structure as an A, B, C, D, E structure, which we call an Elliott wave triangle. It has five waves. And the E wave is basically the last wave of the triangle. And the E wave should eventually form a local top here and then break to the downside. This is it's just doing exactly now what, what we want. So short-term bullish rally was expected ideally into the region between 30 and 34 cents. Then we need to see if a reaction can occur here. If there is no reaction in this area, then it might form uh, or it might test 38 cents, which is the end of August high. No, it's the July high. And if the price can break above that level, then we are likely bullish. Okay, then at least a more bullish scenario will become more likely. For clarification, we still need five waves up in the yellow wave count, but it would only work in a diagonal anyway. So very unreliable structure. And for me, it is more likely at the moment to still expect another bear market low after this ready to the upside. So at the moment, the wave count is just following. It's worth to know, okay, what is the level that if broken will cause us to change our perspective? And that is at 38, 38 and a half cents. And I'll leave that with you. Um, but at the moment, yeah, it's just moving towards that target area up there, which is good to see. At the moment, it seems like um, it, it's following that uh, WXY structure and within the Y wave. So basically, We've got these five waves in a triangle, A, B, C, D, E. Every wave in a triangle is a corrective wave. The E wave is the last wave of the triangle. It consists in this case probably of a WXY structure and the Y wave is an ABC structure. So we're tracking that at the moment. And um, basically the Y wave yeah, started here on the 11th of September and the A wave in the Y wave is a five or a three wave move. So we're currently tracking here potential a potential five wave move. If micro support fails, it might mean that the A wave topped in just three waves. But I would in, in such a structure here sort of by default rather assume a five wave move. There are various reasons for it. Um, and then we can track the bullish support here. And it's currently just it reached the third wave target in the A wave. That's good to see. And to keep climbing higher, it needs to hold the 25.5 cent level. So as long as this 50% retracement level is holding, it can push higher either in a continuation here directly in a third wave, or if it forms a fourth wave, it should get into this region between 25.5 cents and 26.2 and then push higher once more to complete wave A, then do a wave B and then the C. This is sort of the idealized pattern. We'll see. I mean, if it gets a pullback and it breaks below 25.5 cents, I have to assume the A wave topped already. We're coming down a little lower and then it can still resume the uptrend. But at the moment, I'm watching first if it can hold the 25.5 cent level. Against that, the uptrend here can continue. Um, yeah, and it might depend a little bit on what Bitcoin is doing. Surely, yeah, Bitcoin has found its uh, running shoes today. So let's see if we finally get a little higher. And the 30 to 34 cent level is also not a must, but it is the area where if the price gets into it, we can say with more confidence, okay, yeah, this looks like the last wave of the triangle. If we then see the price go into the direction of the fifth wave, basically, if it starts a small five wave move to the downside, 
that is the first signal that we need that the breakdown occurs possibly into the region around 15 cents. If the local uptrend is never breaking, of course, you know, we focus on higher, but I will provide because the local, the short term trend is up now, um, I will provide the bullish support levels along the way. But I, you know, at the moment, the expectation would be to see a bit of a reaction there in that um, resistance area and then potentially start to, you know, move down in that, um, in that fifth wave. Yeah, not much more to add at the moment. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. There's additional content every single day. Make sure you follow the right, the right, the correct profiles. There are many uh, impersonators out there, but you find the official links in the video description. And also, if you're interested in the channel membership, the links are in the description as well. Here you can get access to Discord and Telegram, the live chat rooms. You get access to a weekly live stream and gold members get access to short-term market updates in addition to the videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.